he's calling for a 40% chance of a double-dip recession in the U.S. in the next 12 months. A pretty bearish outlook from Kevin Giddes, the president of Morgan Keegan's Fixed Income Capital Markets Division. He joins us now from Memphis. Kevin, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So when you look back six months, you said at that point in time you expected a 25% chance of a double dip. Now you're up to 40. You say you may get even more bearish. Why do you see this increased likelihood? Well, just, the numbers aren't getting any better. In fact, they're going the other way. There was a period of time where um, I got really, really bullish uh, on the U.S. economy, and that was just prior to the sovereign debt crisis. And so, you know, after that, um, uh, our, our attention turned to uh, Europe, and, and everything seemed to kind of drop uh, in the U.S. Af after that uh, you know, period of time. So, you know, where I stand now, we look at uh, the numbers. Existing home sales last uh, month or for the month of July were off for about 28 percent. New home sales um, uh, were off uh, as well, some 12 or 13 percent, and we'll get more of those, uh, more of that data next week. Durable goods are down uh, 4 percent with another number next week. So, Looking at the economy, uh, we're not exactly uh, solving many of the crises that, uh, that we set off uh, into the recession the last time, and in fact, they're getting weaker. So that's kind of where my, my bearish stance has been increasing over the last uh, three or four months. So you're saying, look, the numbers just aren't there to back up a recovery. You're calling for extending the Bush tax cuts for all tax brackets. I read it in a few of your notes. Yet we even recently heard Alan Greenspan say, look, we can't afford to extend tax cuts anymore. He said, you know, y you've got to even raise taxes, which is not something we'd expect from Alan Greenspan. Are you worried that the higher deficit that will accompany lower taxes is going to be a drag on its own growth? Well, I think the problem with the tax cuts for the Congress right now is they went ahead and spent the money. Um, so if you hadn't spent the $700 billion, you don't have to you know, worry about the expense of the $700 billion. What I worry about is when you, when you carve out the uh, wealthiest 2%, which make up, uh, depending on who you, uh, who you trust, about 14% of the overall spending, you are further increasing the chances of a rece recession. Mm -hmm. So what's the cost of a recession? It's possibly a lot so, more than so $700 billion. So you're calling it the, sort of the lesser of two evils here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's, they keep talking about tax cuts. These aren't actual tax cuts. These are the continuation of the tax. Right. So it's it's not like, you know, there's all this newfound money. Um, so I, I, I guess where I sit right now is I, I worry that if you go and increase the taxes of the wealthiest 2 percent, they will further retrench. Now, over the last three months, consumers have been both delevering and retrenching as a consumer. So, you know, you're not going to make it better by increasing taxes. All you're going to do is run the chance of making it worse. I, I, I see your point. Another interesting point, I think, is that you see a greater risk of a double-dip recession than most of the economists that we surveyed here at CNN Money, but your forecast for growth for the rest of this year and into 2011 are pretty bullish, about 4 percent or better. So how do you balance those two views? Well, I mean, I balance them on the other side of the equation. There is a 60 percent chance that we do not go into a double dip and we do see a slow growth economy, which, you know, I don't think that my forecasts are, are, are overly bullish or dramatic, um, both on interest rates and on, on economic growth. I do see uh, some momentum in the improvement. Um, and again, it, it's going to come from uh, uh, the benefits of where these corporations have been able to kind of take advantage of, of rates, clean up their balance sheets, and, and eventually start to hire again. But uh, demand in this country is still uh, pretty, pretty low, and uh, housing is still a, a big issue. Uh, foreclosures are going up, not down. And, um, and so I think it's, you know, as we work through the inventory, as we work through the problems uh, of your average consumer delevering, uh, there will be a point where we turn up. But I don't, I don't think I've gone crazy with this. And again, that's, that's based on a 60% chance that we will not go into a double dip.